ऐ What's going on, peeps? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how you, that's right, you can make a little Corona or COVID survival kit. What? That's right. That's right. It's a survival kit. Like, whoo, what? Yeah, pretty insane stuff, but I gotta get changed so that way I can show you guys this craziness. And so I'm gonna just do that right now. So, whoa. All right, well, you know, now that that is done, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, Share the channel. But now, I can show you some secrets. All right, well, we're in the basement now because I just had to do it down here, you know? I, it's, it's just gotta be some stuff that I just gotta do on here. So, you know, let's, I guess, let's just get into those survival kit thing for Corona slash COVID. Yes, sir. All right, so let's just go like this. Let's go, okay. Um, this might be a little too small. Um, oh, uh, this might be a little too big. It's not like we're going on a trip because that would not be smart during this time. No, no, sorry. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, what the heck? This is peanut butter. This is not even like a bigger box. What the heck? Oh, finally. Oh, this seems like the right size. Nice, nice looking box. So now, I can show you the things to put inside of this. All right, so the first item is a tape measure. And here's the reason that you'll need a tape measure. So just imagine you're chilling in the grocery store, pushing your shopping cart, just about to check out, and you get in the line, you see there's another person in the line, and they're just chilling, waiting to check out, just standing there waiting like you, and then you get all mad, and you're like, oh, they don't have an X on the ground? What? Mmm, that's really infuriating. But then you remember you have your little tape measure, and... It's a new survival box that you brought, and so you measure out six feet. That way you can check and make sure that, that person is six feet away from you. But you also want to go from the front of the cart. That way you get that extra distance. And so it's, it looks all good, straighten it out, make sure it's all perfect. And if the person's in front of the line, then you're good to go. And all is well, but I mean, if they're in the behind the line then oh then that's not good so you get all mad and you can go get out get forward get forward move forward and just get really mad at them because they're not six feet apart and yeah that just that's what happens with the tape measure and so that's the reason that you need a tape measure so next now on put this in the box and now on to the next item all right so the next item which is a mask. You might be thinking, A mask? Really? Yeah. A mask. And, so, like, here's the reason that you need this mask. So, say you were just chilling in the mall or in your house, or really just anywhere, but it's just straight chilling, but out of nowhere, a crombie comes out of nowhere. A literal crombie. Crombie. Noun. Definition. A person who has gotten the coronavirus and has become a zombie. Origin. Ezekielian. Crombie. A zombified corona corrupted person. Go into 2020. Late 2020, in fact. Okay, now continue. And a normal person would be freaking out like this lad. Like, 
actually scared out of their mind. While you, on the other hand, is calm as a wombat. Because you have your survival box. And inside of that survival box, you have your mask. Like, you lucky guy or girl. You lucky human being. Because now you can show those Karambis who is boss after you put that mask on. And you can give him the L. And, oh, another L. And you can strut away because you know that you won. And you're walking away while they are crying in their despair of failure because they truly are failures because with this survival box nothing's gonna stop you not even these karambi because well he's just depressed now so that's all and that is the exact reason why the mask is in the survival box it's just bound to happen bound to happen so this can go in there and now go on to the next item. The next item is the hand sanitizer found in your local supermarket section aisle, whatever. Probably out, but yeah. Fancy, nice commercial use. Not really, cause not a sponsor. Okay, let's show you how it's not packing like this. Why is this important? So just imagine you're going through your normal day in this time and age, and you touch something. <gasps> and you start freaking out, because usually you can feel it spreading through your arm, and usually you have to just cut the arm off. Just cut it completely off, but luckily you have your survival box. And inside that survival box, you have the hand sanitizer, where you can... Squirt as much hand sanitizer as you need. A ton. Like, I mean a ton. And just rub it all in. Just get it all going. And just rub it in for a very, very excessive, excessive time. Just rubbing it all in. Until it's all in. And, oh, you just so relieved. You love your hand sanitizer. It's just so amazing. And you love it so much that you just even eat it. Like, just full out eat it. Oh, it's so gross, but so okay, good. Okay, Don't eat it. That, that is not good. Do not eat hand sanitizer. That could be very bad. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't eat it. But you have a sigh of relief, and you can move on with your day. And so that is why this is very needed. Because I'm pretty sure most of you do not want to have your arms chopped off. So let's just put that in there. Now, you can move on to the next item. Which is a thermometer. Yeah. I don't have one of those fancy ones that you can just put to your forehead and be like, and you don't have to touch yourself. I got one of those OG ones where you, well not OG OG ones, but like, where you stick it in your little mouth, your food eating down there, and yeah, there you go. I'll show, show you how this one matters. So just one, imagine one normal day, you're just chilling on your couch, and then you cough. Oh no, you cough. And if you feel a little warm, start getting a little worried, grab your thermometer out of your survival kit, and oh, you, you just try to whip it open, you just, it's struggling so much, inside, it's filling inside of you, you have to turn it on, it's taking forever, but at least you have a thermometer, and you're just waiting, and waiting, and you finally be able to put it in your mouth, and you just have to sit there, sit there and wait, wait until the thermometer beeps, and well, then... It finally beeps and you look at it. It's a 97.7. Such a relief. So you close it off and just wipe off your head. So, so thankful that you had that thermometer in your little survival box. And, oh, you're able to just relax a little bit. And, you know, you're just so happy for your little survival kit box. And that there is why this needs to be in the survival box. So let's just set it in there and move on. So unfortunately, the last item, which actually, believe it or not, is duct tape. Now, you know, you can't be going and sawing your stuff in half and putting this on it and being like this. To show you the power of duct tape. I saw this boat in half. But you know. There's also real, no real purpose, purpose for this being in here, so. But duct tape 
it's always good to have in case stuff like I don't know happens and yeah I don't know just just put the duct tape and put the duct tape in the box trust me just just trust me yeah never can go wrong with duct tape but that's gonna wrap up today's video I hope you guys learn some things from that little survival kit box and maybe use that box who knows but i also hope you enjoyed the video and if you did end up enjoying it be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't already and also share the channel i mean if you want to go down to that comment section and leave a comment feel free to love reading them so well that's all i got for you guys today so that's Pretty much it. And be sure to check out my next video, whatever it is. Probably be pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. Gonna be fair quality. And I guess until next time. Well Peace. So back to what I was saying. <laughs>